Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, September 7th. The world is in need of workers. Hark the voice of Jesus calling, Who will go and work today? Fields are white, the harvest waiting, Who will bear the sheaves away? Loud and long the Master calleth, Rich reward he offers free. Who will answer gladly, saying, Here am I, O Lord, send me. The world is in need of workers. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye, therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 and 38. When Christ saw the multitudes that gathered about him, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad, as sheep having no shepherd. Christ saw the sickness, the sorrow, the want and degradation of the multitude that thronged his steps. To him were presented the needs and woes of humanity throughout the world. Among the high and the low, the most honored and the most degraded, he beheld souls who were longing for the very blessings he had come to bring, souls who needed only a knowledge of his grace to become subjects of his kingdom. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye, Therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Today the same needs exist. The world is in need of workers who will labor as Christ did for the suffering and the sinful. There is indeed a multitude to be reached. The world is full of sickness, suffering, distress, and sin. It is full of those who need to be ministered unto, the weak, the helpless, the ignorant, the degraded. Many of the youth of this generation, in the midst of churches, religious institutions, and professedly Christian homes, are choosing the path to destruction. Through intemperate habits, they bring upon themselves disease, and through greed to obtain money for sinful indulgences, they fall into dishonest practices. Health and character are ruined. Aliens from God and outcasts from society, these poor souls feel that they are without hope, either for this life or for the life to come. The heart of parents are broken. Men speak of these erring ones as hopeless, but God looks upon them with pitying tenderness. He understands all the circumstances that have led them to fall under temptation. This is a class that demands labor. Nigh and afar off are souls, not only the youth, but those of all ages who are in poverty and distress, sunken in sin and weighed down with a sense of guilt. It is the work of God's servants to seek for these souls, to pray with them and for them, and lead them step by step to the Savior. This passage was taken from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, pages 254 and 255. Our Daily Bread, September 7th. Have a most blessed and wonderful Sabbath. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.